Yeah, so here we are for Paper Mario, about a thousand year door. Yeah. Chapter 1, part 4. You know, I got some lag right there. I'm gonna buy this right here. Keep on walking. Okay, this is a good point. I'm gonna show you the um, multi bounce thingy majigger. Okay, multi bounce. Okay, and one. Okay, I forgot the action man's right. Yeah, I wasn't. I was doing something weird. You know, whatever. See, I got the action commands right there, yeah. So that was how not to do this. <laughs> yeah. See, I totally redeemed myself right there. Anyway, uh, you jump and right... Basically, you try to do the same thing you did before with um, your normal jump, how you do... You jump twice. This one, you basically do the same thing. You'll jump to all the enemies down the line. But if the uh, chain will be broken if it's... Um, po it's a... What's a Pokemon right there? If it's an enemy that cannot be jumped on, so like on the ceiling be getting to those guys later or um or there's spiked enemies which you cannot jump on either yeah stuff <laughs> and stuff okay we got some flower points right back back there we can try to avoid this koopa trooper because i absolutely hate the random counters in this game like they're quick though but it's just you know they're constant not like in, you know, other RPGs where you can just random money. Here's that, uh, POW block that is there, in that bush. You should pick that up before you fight the, um, the... Watch with Jake's, the pointy thingies. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna call them to get out and their names. You know, they're like, here's the ball cliffs, and then you go to fight, you go through that little area, then you find the POW block, and then you fight the pointy things, I can... Their name escapes me. Yeah, uh, I jumped on that, Spike Guma. You can see that, as I cut it out. I would totally could not mention it, and people would be like, You did, you just jumped on the Spike Guma. <laughs> First, that will be a problem until, you know, well, it's still continue to be a problem until chapter, uh, until after chapter 4. Yeah. Where we can get the uh, Spike Shield badge. Anyway, we're gonna keep on walking. Uh, walking, walking. One thing I didn't mention was uh, if you go to uh, Coop's, or not Coop's, but Croop's house, I think, yeah, the, the mayor's house, basically. You can go inside his garden, garden, uh, right in front of his house. You get these um, turtley leaves, I can't remember exactly what they're called. They're basically the uh, revive 3 HP. Very useful for um, this little thing you can do after this chapter, but I'll cover that later. Did you sleep well, sir? Come back soon. Okay. What ifs? Anyway, I'm uh, gonna go to the shop. I'm gonna buy some stuff. Basically, you're ready to go to Hooktail's Castle now. Well, the interesting about this, the first time I played this game, I was so paranoid about, you know, grinding and stuff, because, you know, I, yeah. One of the really Japanese RPGs I played before this was, you know, Pokemon. That one, you had to actually grind occasionally. So I ended up grinding all the way to, like, level 10 before I fought Hooktail. <laughs> that's way, way over levels. <laughs> I didn't. I don't think I even leveled up again until, um, until chapter three. <laughs> I leveled up so high, and people are giving me so low experience. Yeah. Yeah. Good mushroom. I want a couple um, honey serves because I don't have a lot of FP. Yeah. Yeah. See, see. Here's our items. Yeah, we can get a bigger item bag later on. Yeah. But I'm not gonna go do that yet. Uh, we go over here. Do, 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 do. Talk to this guy. No, we don't talk to that guy. We're gonna go save. Yeah, I have a lot of lag in this video. More than usual, actually. I don't know. It's just because the frame rates are this different than XD. I haven't really learned to compensate. <laughs> Let's learn to compensate. Um, excuse me. It's it's Mario, right? Look, I, um, see, the thing is, I, um, in, uh, I have to ask you something, he, uh, but, uh, what's there, uh, eh, 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 um, eh, see, um, I was wondering, would you, would you, oh, please take me with you, fun hooktail, please, I'm begging you. I'm shocked at your newfound self-esteem and self-respect. <laughs> yeah, so basically his dad went there to fight him, never seen before, it's been ten years now, so he's like, I must go on a journey to avenge my father. Avenge his death against the evil cocktail. Save the day, get the girl. He don't want to have the girl, so it's a little weird here. Yeah, I'm gonna man up. I'm gonna stop being called a weakling. Yeah, I'm gonna defeat Hooktail. Be strong like my dad. Even though he got eaten by Hooktail. So, 
Yeah, sure, come along. We can always use that Koopa. Now that Koopa's here, the party's, you know, pretty awesome. Koops has joined your party. Yeah, I know, I, I can't do the little ring. Koops ability is a primer. So basically, you can shoot a shell with X. Uh, like, uh, sound effects, of course. And if you hold it down, you can hold it in place, and then release it, and you'll fire backwards. But keep going a little past the beginning. Yeah, then you can also hold down X and move Mario, hit something, and then, yeah, that's useful for a couple puzzles. A handful of puzzles. You know, they're pretty... Yeah, no, a Koops is really useful in puzzles. I'm pretty sure he's the most used enemy. A used partner in puzzles. You know that. There's also, um... There's one later on that's used a lot. I would say out of... There's one, two... Three, four, five. See, I think there's like six partners. I think out of the six of them, you'll use Koops um, probably the most. And there's like three more that are used for a lot of puzzles. Yeah, but you'll. Yeah. Actually, one is used for a couple puzzles, but only a handful of the other three. So, really, three of them using them a lot. Yeah. Yeah, so his is a girlfriend, Koopy Q. He's like, I'm a man! Five before me. But he actually, I found it really interesting. She calls him a weakling. And Koopa's actually, and Koops is actually one of the strongest partners, you know. Probably, uh, in my opinion, the second strongest. There's one get a lot later on. It was really, really strong. He's like a beast. I mean, he looks like a beast. You know? He has, like, ends up with, uh, I think, the either second highest or third highest HP of your partners who fully level them up. Yeah. I think it's up like, you know, a lot. Like 30. Is there 25 or 30? Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna take out this Goomba. I purposely did that. Yeah, we're gonna show you, um, Koops really excels at. He's really good at te- He's pretty much only good for take taking out ground enemies. Actually, I think he can only take out ground enemies. But he has a special ability, is, um, Power Shell, where he can take out all ground enemies. Well, do damage to all the ground enemies. Does, um, two damage. Until you level up, he gets, you know, three and four and such. But, um, also has normal, one of the shell toss that uh, does two damage, attacks the uh, ground enemy in front. Sort of like Mario's hammer. But here's one thing Koops does a lot, is that he uh, gets distant items, like this one right here. That's a happy heart and regains HP throughout battle. That's pretty useful. There's one hat later on called um, Happy Flower. I like that one better because it regains FP and I use a lot of FP and I don't have a lot of FP to begin with because I keep on putting everything in my batch points. Anyway, here's our pedestals. You see there's slots with the sunstone we got in the last episode. So we can evolve our, you know, glooms and blossoms. And we use our moonstone because I really want a Nido King. Yeah. So we got our Blossomer Bent Nido King, you know. Yeah, stuff. It's really inscription. Yeah, it's basically use some weird, you know, ye old English. Yeah. You got a Pedalberg Cuba, huzzah! Yeah, basically, it gives you a basic idea how to do this puzzle if they hit the switches at the same time. So you hit it, it'll flash. So, trick is, you have to hit them at the close the same time, or at least when they both are flashing. So you. Hold down Koops, you walk up here, you'll release, and then you hit it as soon as um, Koops hit that, hits the other switch and it'll flash. You just hit it with your hammer. And then this will break apart. And I'm like, yay, we can go to Hooktail's castle. Yeah. Huzzah, I'm a Pelberg, Pentelberg Koopa. I can't talk because I'm sick and I'm getting better, but I really shouldn't be commentating, but commentating anyway. Because I just like this game so much. <laughs> we walking over here. Do, do, do. I th thought there was a s um, star piece up here, but no, there isn't, so I can prove you people wrong and be like, Hey, you should check back there. There's a star piece. Man, 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 man. My mommy doesn't love me enough. Man, 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 man. Daddy left me when I was eight. Told me the man of the house he has returned from slaying a dragon. Don't know where I'm going with this. Anyway, here's the Hooktail's castle over here. You have another heal block, thingy majigger. It's a save block, thingy majigger. You gotta save right here. 
Okay, go through here. Here's the. Yep, here's Hooktail's castle. Yeah, it. I don't know. Not exactly the coolest area in the game. I don't know. I don't really like it that much. I know. It, I would say everything in this game is a lot better than Chapter 4. I hate Chapter 4 with a passion. A burning passion of hatred. Even though it's probably my favorite story of any chapter. Well, probably one of the favorite stories. I don't know. Oh, chapter 6 is a pretty good story, too. But I, Chapter 4 has an interesting story. I just hate everything about it. Can we get a. HP plus badge right there. You see when I fell in the water, I took one hit point of damage. Yeah, because the metal piranha thingies. The jiggers. Oh, they always remind me of bullet bills, but they're not. Or no, they remind me of chain chomps. But yeah, that, they're like aquatic chain chomps. Yeah. So yeah, that does make sense, because they are basically aquatic chain chomps. I'm not a Mario aficionado, so I don't really know what I'm supposed to be calling those things other than aquatic chain chomps. Of course, I do know what a Torpedo Tom is, and that's not a Torpedo Tom. That is a Aquatic Chain Chomp. <laughs> I hereby bequeath an Aquatic Chain Chomp. That looks like a Piranha. Anyway, right here we get a uh, Power Bounce. That's pretty useful. I'll show that off later on. I don't really like Power Bounce that much. Anyway, I'm going to show off Koop some more. Really shouldn't have taken this fight on because I'm really far away from save block and this video is going to come along. So after this, pa after this video, I'm done. Yeah. See, here's the new enemy. There it was a uh, para, para Koopa. So he basically, um, with Koops, he's want to wait for his little green bar to line up and you shoot the shell forward with the control stick. Yeah. That's how we use Koops. I totally missed that. Let me see. Yeah, anyway, I got interrupted there, again. Well, not again, but again, as in through my history of doing these videos. <laughs> okay, um, let's just jump on this guy. This fight was like, everything that could go wrong went wrong. <laughs> yeah. I totally missed the action command on purpose. Don't know what you're talking about. And anyway, um, right before a coop slams, you want to use your, um, yeah, you use the, um, yeah, the stylish. Press A to use the stylish move. Yeah. There's a way to get three stylishes on Mario. So he like jumps up, jumps up, jumps into higher and lands. Yeah, I can never get that. I only get that like twice. Yeah. Yeah. Before I used to be really good at this and hit. You can manage to get it twice, but yeah, manage he jumps twice instead of once. But yeah, he does do goes insane. See the coops in his um power shell. Anyway, let's get her. Use our piercing blow right there. See, so managed to get it twice like that. You used to be able to do that all the time, but you can get, actually get it all the way to three. Yeah. And let's just uh, use a mystery. See what happens. Yeah, because he's electrified, so I can't really use any moves on him. All right, and he has a higher defense, so it's like none of my attacks will do anything. And of course, it's a slow turn, which gets HP back every once in a while. Yeah, totally missed that. On purpose. <laughs> yeah, let's see, he gets, for, he gets 2 HP back every 9, for every turn, for 9 turns. It's more HP than you have, almost twice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's use Sweet Treat so I can get some FP back. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very good at Sweet Treat, very much. It's my. probably my least used. Yeah. Thing. But I might as well just put some excuse to keep on doing stylish moves anyway. Yeah, I'll start using um, special moves a lot more when we actually get a lot more. Because you get one for every time we beat a chapter. Yeah. And the clue's prologue, so you get one after. Basically, end up with eight. Yeah. Yeah, there goes him. All of them are really useful. Well, more than others, but yeah. Okay, anyway, let's go upstairs. Yeah. Something to go fly back to the um, save block. Yeah, that was probably just a stupid move of me right there, but eh, whatever. Anyway, this video is just about over. I'm gonna go over here, go save, and I'll see you guys next time. I'll hopefully get a good ways into Hooktail's Castle. See you next time.